Hamilton with me. And Cal, you know, the last couple of years have been particularly cruel, and this year it's the foot, and uh, what well, it could be six to 12 weeks on the sidelines. Well, it looks about six weeks, I think, at this stage, Stephen. I've got to see a surgeon on Tuesday, but it seems likely that uh, I'll probably go into hospital a couple of days after that. And, uh, you know, it'll probably be six weeks, I'd say. What exactly happened? Well, I tore a uh, tendon underneath my foot, which attaches to uh, to my heel down at our training camp. It's almost uh, about uh, five weeks ago, and uh, you know, I've had a lot of treatment since then, and it's just not getting any better, and I re-injured it again during the week, so uh, this, uh, I'm running out of options for it. Well, what were the, the alternatives? rest for four or five weeks or an operation? Um, I, well, see, I've gone through the procedure of rest and treatment uh, a couple of times now, and uh, um, last uh, Thursday night was the, the third time that I've torn it in uh, you know, five, five, six weeks, so um, you know, it appears very likely that uh, I'll have to have surgery on it next week. It is a frustrating life, football, isn't it? <laughs> it can be at times, but uh, uh, you know, the idea is that uh, I'm just going to have it done and uh, rehabilitate that and uh, try and get back as quickly as possible. What went through the mind when you tore it the other night? Um, well, I guess I was half half expecting it because uh, you know I didn't really think that it would come up. Uh, but uh, you know it was very frustrating and uh, after putting in a long summer and. Uh, you know, getting back into really good shape for the first time for me for quite a number of years and uh, you know it is uh, frustrating but uh, uh, you've just got to uh, take these things on the chin and uh, that's what I'll be doing and uh, putting in a lot of work again and trying to make the second half of the year good. Well let's hope it's a very quick six weeks and of course the good news is that uh, Brian Wilson, another Brownlow medalist, kicked seven goals at full forward yesterday and looks as though he can fill in for you while you're in hospital. Yes, well, he did very well yesterday, so, uh, you know, he uh, uh, could be a chance that they'll play in there during the year, and, uh, you know, he performs quite well in front of goal, so, uh, you know, I, I, I think uh, they'll probably leave him there. Well, Cal, your number's just about to come up, it's like Tats Lotto. <laughs> I'll let you go over and get your Guernsey. They'll probably just take this one off and put on another one. That's right. But uh, thanks for talking with us on World of Sport. Good luck in hospital. OK, sir. And uh, I'll let you go and get your, your Guernsey, but I'll just... Sandy, while you're there, I must just let you know a rumour that's been doing the, the rounds in football circles over the past few weeks, and that was the imminent sacking of Ron Barassi and his replacement by Jeff Case. Well, it now appears that uh, Jeff Case and Ron Barassi uh, have had a chat to me today, and uh, there's absolutely no foundation in it, and uh, 